Okay, right here is a 1951 Marion Type 4161. The Type 4161 was first introduced by Marion in 1935 as a replacement for the company's older model, the Type 4160. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this old girl. The Type 4161 was available from Marion in either dragline or loading shovel configurations, depending on what the customer preferred. In dragline configuration, the Type 4161 was designed to swing a bucket ranging from 3 to 6 cubic yard capacity. And in loading shovel configuration, the Type 4161 was designed to swing a dipper ranging from 5 to 6 cubic yard capacity. Replacing the older single internal dipper stick utilized on the Type 4160 were new twin dipper sticks on the 4161 designed to better transmit the load stresses generated from the dipper to the boom. These sticks measure 23 feet in length and the boom that you see measures 35 feet in length. The Type 4161 featured Marion's exclusive Y-tip boom with internal boom point sheaves to better transmit the load stresses generated from the bucket. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 4161, this machine measures 18 feet tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 17 feet 4 inches wide. Right here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. And here you can see the two boom sway bars. From here you can get a good view of the car body on the Type 4161. Here you can see the center ring gear. And right here you can see where the main drive axle, steering brakes and propel machinery is located to power each individual track. Power for the propelling and steering on the 4161 is supplied by the hoist motor through a gear type air operated clutch and is transmitted to the crawlers through direct gearing. 36 inch general purpose crawler shoes were standard for the Type 4161. However, Marion also offered optional wider 42 inch crawler shoes depending on the type of ground conditions that this shovel would be working on. Each one of the massive crawlers on the Type 4161 measure 19 feet in length. Now, let's go up on the Type 4161. The Type 4161 is powered by a 300 horsepower induction driving motor, which is directly connected to three generators and an exciter, which you can see right back here. And this is what generates all the power for this shovel when it's in operation. Mounted directly ahead of the induction driving motor set, is the electrical switch cabinet, which you can see right here. 
The 4161 features the full magnetic Ward Leonard control system, which provides for smooth, fast, and efficient operation. And if you look inside, here you can see all the electrical equipment to power this shovel. From here you can get a good overview of the inside of the house on the Type 4161. And as you can see, there is a lot of room inside the house of this shovel to provide for plenty of operating space for the mechanic or operators to replace a component on this machine or work on something if it should break. Right here, you can see the hoist drum, which is powered by a 187 and a half horsepower electric motor. Here you can see the transformers. The swing system on the Type 4161 consisted of two vertical 44 horsepower swing motors mounted in the front of this machine, which you can see right here. The benefit to this design is reduced tooth load, smooth operation, minimal power loss, and reduced maintenance. Now, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here, you can get a good overview of the inside of the operator's cab on the 4161. Let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay. Off to the right side on the control panel, you can see all of the switches to work various functions on this machine such as the hoist brake, the propel hoist, the steering, here you can see the main start switch, and here you can see a switch to control the propel clutch, the swing brake, and the boom hoist. These two foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat on the floor control the swing function on this shovel. The right pedal will swing the shovel to the right, and the left pedal will swing the shovel to the left. The two hand levers that you see off to the right and left side of the operator seat control all of the digging functions of the shovel attachment in the front, or if this machine were set up as a drag line. The right hand lever controls the hoist. Pull back to lower the bucket and push forward to hoist the bucket. The left hand lever controls the dipper handle. Push forward to extend the sticks and pull back to retract the sticks. And the toggle switch that you see directly below the crowd lever controls the bucket trip function. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a Type 4161. And if you look on the back of the boom, you can see all of the crowd machinery that will operate the dipper sticks, which is driven by a 44 horsepower crowd motor.
right here you can get another good overview of the interior of the machinery house on the 4161. And if you look right here, on the side of this machine's ballast, here you can see the original manufacturer's plate with the machine's serial number, and you can see where it says, Marion Power Shovel Company, Marion, Ohio, USA. And from underneath here, you can get another good view of the car body on this machine, and here you can see where the electrical power cable would connect to the J-Box on this machine to supply the machine with 2200 volts of raw power. back of the machine, you can see where it says, Marion. The 4161's robust design and ability to tackle some of the toughest digging conditions in its day made this machine one of the most popular and successful mid-size electric shovels built by Marion throughout the 1930s and 1940s, with just over 200 units built and sold all around the world. In fact, two special units were even produced with steam power for operating in Russia. And the overall operating weight of the 4161 in shovel configuration, as you see right here, is 207 and a half tons. In dragline configuration, the overall operating weight of the 4161 is 187 and a half tons. The 4161 remained in production until 1964. But there she is. A 1951 Type 4161.